Hi, welcome to SolveAndGo.com. Um, this is the first video, excuse me, in the series of solutions to the Math 135 final exam from 2009. Question one um, has to do with L'Hopital's rule, and it asks to find the value of the limit as x goes to zero of e to the power of x plus e to the power of negative x minus 2 divided by 1 minus cos of 4x. Now the first thing you want to do when you're evaluating a limit is you want to plug in the value that x is approaching. So when you plug it in what you see is that we get um, 1 plus 1 minus 2 okay x is 0 so e to the x and e to the negative x are 1 minus 1 divided by 1 minus cos of 0 so this is 0 over 0 here. Okay, it's an indeterminate form, which means we need to use L'Hopital's rule. Okay, so according to L'Hopital's rule, what we can do is take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. We get e to the x. Derivative of e to the negative x is e to the negative x times negative 1, because that's the derivative of the exponent, minus e to the negative x derivative of 2 is 0, divided by 1 minus, so derivative of cos 4x is going to be minus sine 4x times 4. Okay, so we get the limit as x goes to 0, e to the x minus e to the negative x over 1 plus 4 sine 4x. Okay, again, if we uh, plug in x equals 0, we get 0 on the top, and then on the bottom here, we get, sorry, mistake, um, 1 differentiates to be 0, so this is negative, negative sign, so this 1 is not here, okay, so this is, this is the derivative of the bottom, okay, and then we plug 0 in, again we get 1 minus 1 equals 0 on top, and sine of 0 is 0, so we get another 0 over 0 form. Okay, so this is 0 over 0, an indeterminate form. We use L'Hopital's rule one more time. As it turns out, we get e to the x minus, and then another negative sign from the derivative of negative x gives uh, a plus e to the x over, so the derivative of 4 sine of 4x is 4 cos 4x times 4. Okay, we plug in. 0, we get 1 plus 1 over 4 times 1 times 4 is 16. It's 2 over 16, or 1 over 8. Okay, so 1 over 8 is the, uh, is the, uh, the answer to question number 1. 